I took care of Sheamus like I said I would, and now your boy has his title match. Actually, I am. Like I said, I think it's gonna be a great match and something the SmackDown audience will really enjoy. Yeah, definitely. This has nothing to do with the fact that you wouldn't have your job if it wasn't for Edge. I mean, what else would you do if he asked? You might as well just cut out the middleman and make Edge GM. He's already calling all the shots. I'll say it one more time. This is about giving the WWE Universe the best available match. Nothing else. Don't push me on this. Okay, if that's what it's all about, then... You know what? Finally, I agree with you. Go get some rest, because you're going to defend your Universal title again tonight. Are you serious? I was just trying to make a point. And I just made mine. I told you not to push me on this, but you didn't listen. Now go get ready for your match. Well, that escalated quickly. It's time for our second Universal Championship match of the night. The Universal Champion will defend his title again against Edge. You have to love the champion's confidence right now, but he might have bitten off more than he can chew because it sure looks like that war with Sheamus took its toll. Toll or not, he's not afraid of anything, Saxton. And our GM and his buddy Edge are about to learn that the hard way. No! Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Just caught flush. Consecutive attacks landing on Edge. Edge has got to get his wits about him. Holding in on the arm. The challenger is looking shaken. There is some power behind that punch. Oh man! Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch, and he's soundly taking control here. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. With the power bomb. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Universal Champion and Edge are going back and forth here in this huge title match. The referee goes down. And now Edge has taken out two. The Universal Champion is over bending the rules. Will he take advantage? There's your answer. He's competed twice tonight. He's just evening up the odds. And it's our GM, Adam Pierce. Of course, he's out here to help his friend Edge. That's the only reason Edge got this opportunity in the first place. He's just trying to restore some order to the match. Wait a second. Spear. Edge nails the champion with the spear. The referee's still down. Adam Pierce is going to cut the pin. He did it. Overcoming adversity yet again. Edge is the new Universal Champion. Unbelievable. Let's not gloss over the real story here. The general manager of SmackDown just abused his power to help his friends steal the Universal Championship. I'm not so sure about that, but I will admit this victory did occur with some level of controversy. If I know our now former champion like I think I do, he's not going to sit back and accept this without putting up a fight. Look, I could just approach this like some kind of farewell tour. A chance to show my girls what their dad looks like with a championship around his waist. A chance to stroke my own ego one more time. And a chance to remind all of you of a different era when this sort of thing was typical. Almost expected. But I'm here to say that's exactly not what I'm going to do. 
I've heard all the critics, like the former champion himself, that I was handed this Universal Championship. That somehow, because of my friendship with the GM, that I got special treatment, and this was basically gifted to me. So with that in mind, I'm gonna do everything in my power, even if it ends up costing me this very title to prove the critics wrong. I'm gonna be a fighting champion and earn everything I get. I'm gonna do that by issuing an open challenge to anyone in that locker room to face me for this championship. And the open challenge begins right now. So who's ready to come out and face me? Come on, let's see what this locker room is made of. What's going on here? That's what's going on. The former Universal Champion appears to have cut to the front of the line. <laughs> Not what you were expecting, huh, Edge? Well, I wasn't expecting to lose my Universal Championship after your BFF here conspired to have me compete twice in one night, interfered in the match, and then pretended to be a referee and illegally counted the pin, basically handing you the title himself. But special treatment is the only kind of treatment you've received since you came back to WWE, isn't it? I don't know what you're doing, but leave Adam out of this. No, you don't get to talk now. This is my time. Like I was saying, the special treatment started when you just waltzed into the Royal Rumble after being gone for eight years. No qualifying match needed. Then there were the WrestleMania matches, the WWE Network specials, all the TV time you took from superstars like myself. But worst of all, you were so insecure that you couldn't hang with today's generation that you had Adam Pierce hired as GM to give you the easiest possible path to success. And it worked! What do you want? I want to put an end to all of this. And I want my title back. So give me a rematch on my terms. Or I'll take out your buddy here. Well, worse than I already have. Fine, I'll take you on whenever and however you want. Just let him go. Smart decision. Now run back to your BFF. At least it looks like this is over with for now. Adam oh. Pierce is way late with the chair. This is crossing the line. Here comes Edge. That just showed you exactly the type of person the former Universal Champion is. As soon as Edge was going to confront him face to face, he ran away as fast as he could. That might be true, but the damage was done. He got what he wanted here tonight. Challenger made it clear that he wants to send Edge back into retirement. If I were him, I'd focus on just winning the match on the top. nothing to do with any of that. Yank right off the apron. Oh, no. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Under the rope. 
comes down. He's heading up top. Making big. Taking flight. Champ now absorbing a little damage. But in a match like this, Michael, that is to be expected. And Edge is coming under duress. Edge keeps getting cut off at the pass. Edge gets out of the way. Hard landing. No. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Turns to the ring. A count of seven. Is this really it? And this match is going to continue. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. Great counter. Oh, sit out slam. Getting back into the ring. This match isn't over yet. Guess he caught another win. This could be big, going up high. Oh, 
City is pinching being put on the torso area. Still got something left in the tank. Ow! So much damage inflicted. Connected with a sharp elbow. Two! Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. position to be in right now. Are you kidding me? This match ain't over yet. To the outside. And the beating his body has taken has led him into this very dangerous situation. That bit by bit he was broken down. Now he's practically a sitting duck. Staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Eight. Nine. Ten. And Edge has successfully defended his Universal title. And as a result, the now former champion must leave SmackDown. Certainly not the outcome he was looking for tonight on so many levels. What a win for Edge. Well, it looks like Edge wants to wish the former champ good luck before he's gone. And an act of disrespect on his way out. But should we really be surprised? He's dealing with a lot. Cut him some slack. <laughs> 